There's the Cardinals brass with 90 seconds. Ian, you've got big news? News, a big time trade. Sources say that the Houston Texans are trading up to number three with the Arizona Cardinals. So the Houston Texans, who just shocked all of us and took CJ Stroud at two, are back up again, potentially to take the top defensive player on the board. Absolutely wild. Nick Casario is stunning us and wheeling and dealing. So you can see they are celebrating, and it does appear that the Houston Texans using the 12th overall pick they received from Cleveland in the Deshaun Watson trade. Nick Casario is using it to trade back up into the third spot. And they have just made a selection to go back to back. It looks like, did they pull off the Stroud Will Anderson double dip? Oh, hold on a second. Listen, did we hear about this last night? From, yes, we yes, we did, did someone Look say that last the night? Draft. It is grim. This team has 12 picks in this draft. They have 11 picks in the next draft. They've got a new head coach. They've got an opportunity with the assets they have to get the offensive identity of their team going forward and the defensive identity of their team going forward. Arizona's been shouting from the rooftops they want to get out, and the Texans have more ammunition than anybody else to get up. It just made so much sense. They pulled it off. DJ, it's such a good call by you, and, and obviously following the breadcrumbs, but also you also follow blueprint. Look at what, you know, we had Sauce Gardner here before the draft. Look at what the Jets were able to do, guys, last year, getting two franchise calibers, one offense, one defense, in Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson in early in that draft. Well, to move all the way up from uh, 12 to 3, and then for the Cardinals to move all the way down to 12, that's a large drop. Um, it appears that they got uh, Arizona, th that Arizona got Houston's second round pick next uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. They also got a first round pick and a third round pick in next year's draft. There you go. But again, they have two ones next year. So they're still going to pick in the first round next year. That's the Deshaun Watson trade coming into play tonight. So how about this? It goes quarterback, quarterback, and then it goes Carolina, Texans, Texans. And the, and the smoke may clear right here because we've had the two quarterbacks we thought. Could this be Will Anderson coming up now when we talked about Tyree Wilson and traits going ahead of him? Guess what? Productivity could be the word right here for Houston. Well, we're just rent payers in the Texans world at present. The Arizona Cardinals have traded the third pick to the Houston Texans. With the third pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Will Anderson Jr., linebacker, Alabama. So, again, it starts quarterback, quarterback, linebacker. It starts Alabama, Ohio State, Alabama. And it starts Carolina, Houston, Houston. This is one of the most remarkable beginnings of an NFL draft we can remember and what we would have expected out of the most unpredictable draft coming in. And we're coming off of a year. We had Sauce Gardner on the pregame. Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson were offensive defensive rookies of the year. Two top ten picks who have given your Jets a lot of hope. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers adds to that. Their candidates in Houston to have offense and defensive rookie of the year this coming season. Yeah, and once again, the smoke we kept getting the last three weeks, the last two weeks, this could happen, that could happen. The smoke is cleared, and it's gone back to where we were in January, folks. The top two quarterbacks, however you like them, they came off the board first. The best defender in college football over the last three seasons comes off the board first. Smoke, Joel fire for everyone else it got tamped out quickly we're right back to where we're supposed to be in this draft all right let's jump into will anderson in the video again the, the, the elite character elite worth that work ethic leadership all that stuff's great but when he gets on the field this guy has got power and twerk and plays the game in a manner that you see khalil mack play football run and pass he's a complete player he can dominate at the point of attack he's done it for three straight years when you watch him get after the quarterback, he's got incredibly strong hands. Talk about having shock in your hands. He's able to get underneath, get underneath the wrist, pop it up and get home. He has a feel to go along with his suddenness. You overset, you get over your skis as a tackle. He feels it. He's gonna counter underneath and get home with a sack. 
Think about the point of attack, stack and shed. That's Jamari Sawyer, who started a bunch of games for the Chargers last year. Keep in mind, he's playing against NFL players every week. And then you don't want to account for him on the backside. He's going to be able to close that door with his speed and his effort. Hey, the Houston Texans aren't messing around, guys. I love it. You can see Cal McNair was on the phone. And the Houston Texans have taken over this draft in Kansas City for the moment. Take it away, Melissa. They trade up to get you. You're the first defensive player taken off the board. What does that say about what the Texans think about you? Man, it means everything. You know, everybody don't know how much hard work goes into this, man. The sacrifices I made, the hard work, the dedication, everything that goes into this. They just see what happened on Saturday. But the process, man, I'm just so blessed and favored by God. And we just talked to your new quarterback, the leader on offense. You're going to be the leader on defense. Look at this smile. I love it. What are you bringing? What are fans getting in you? They're just getting a complete player, complete person, high character player, but also a good player. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go out there, do his job every snap, relentless motor, high mindset, good motivation, good energy on the team, jumping up and down. And that's what I'm all about. And I'm ready. I don't even have to say it, but go get it. Go get it. Let's go. And it's remarkable. Houston has two third round picks now two fourth round picks because got a fourth in this trade a fifth three sixes and two sevens it's still to come it's not like they just emptied the cupboard to do what they just did obviously there's a one and a three next year but they had a one to play with as well